If we use method 2 in order to solve this calculation, we would first uh, write out our equation, that's balance, and identify the molar masses of each of the compounds by going and adding them up on the periodic table. All right, now we'll fill out the chart. The mole to mole ratio of everything in this equation is 2 to 3 to 1 to 3. We are given 45.97 grams of iron sulfate. And so from this piece of information, I can determine the moles by dividing 45.97 by the 151.92. And that gives me 0 0.303 moles. Now, I want to figure out aluminum sulfate first because it's got a 1 to 3 ratio. However, you have to recognize that we have three times more iron sulfate than we do aluminum sulfate. Therefore, we have one-third this amount equal to my aluminum sulfate. So if I take the 0 0.303 and I divide it by 3, then I'll get... 0.101 moles of aluminum sulfate. Because this is a 3 to 3 ratio, then they're going to be the same amounts. So 0 0.303 is how many moles of iron we have. And then I can take this amount, 0 0.101, and because aluminum is twice as much as aluminum sulfate, then I can take this times 2 and get 0 0.202 moles. Now that I know the moles of everything, I can change them to grams by multiplying the moles times the molar mass above. So 0 0.202 times 26.98 gives me 5.45 grams of aluminum. 0 0.101 times 342.17 gives me 34.56 grams of aluminum sulfate. And 0 0.303 times 55.85 gives me 16.92 grams of iron. So from this one piece of information, we are actually able to determine how much aluminum is going to be consumed and how much of both products are going to be produced. However, the question is asking for this product in particular, which is answer 1.